Okay guys, so, just got home, and uh, yeah, um, the Peltier that I've been waiting for, it's just arrived, oh, here we'll give you guys a little bit of light here, ooh, Daniel Paddock's and yeehaw, but yeah, so, let's uh, take a look here and see what we got. So I haven't even opened this yet. It's still completely sealed and everything. So you guys will get the first look at the new Peltier. There we go. Hopefully it's not broken. I'll have to open up a can of whoop-ass. Ooh, I see wires. How the heck am I supposed to open that? Thank God for the dollar store. Dollar store knife blades. They work awesome. Really? I gotta go again? Yeah, I wanna be careful. Don't wanna cut the Peltier open. Well, I guess you cut in a ceramic, but don't want to scratch it, it's brand new. Oh, oh, I'm starting to see it. Ooh, that thing's cold. Alright, guys. So there she is. The new Peltier, 400 watts of goodness, ooh yeah, oh yeah, that is that is definitely going to be how I like it. Okay, and now if you don't remember, I plan on putting it onto my little water block here and see how it goes. Alright. Okay guys, so this is my Peltier. Uh, 400 watt and uh, just going to show you how quick it makes ice here do the same thing as everything, everyone else just a little cap full of water It's actually a pretty big drop, but... You can probably see that it's starting to ice up now. Just starting to look a little bit white. There you go. Things completely ice. That's cool. So I'll stick another drop there beside it. That one looks like it's almost ice. Yep, completely ice. Not bad, eh? But, uh, if you're wondering what that noise is,
there's a fan that I have cooling it at the moment. Big giant blower fan, blows like snot. And uh, so I guess now we can go over here and uh, see how well it cools my water. Okay guys, so this is an update on the Peltier. Okay, so uh, if you don't remember, I ordered a 400 watt Peltier and I've got it in the mail. And yeah, the thing is pretty slick. I had a lot of problems with it. I'm telling you now, if you're going to get a 400 watt Peltier, Okay, got my garbage file. There's a power supply there, which is actually two power supplies, alright? Two power supplies, they're both, uh, I believe one's 400 watt, the other one's like two. Both of those were not able to run it. Not at full tilt, anyways. I had it running for three hours with a heat sink on the cold side, heat sink on the hot side. And it ran cool, but it still wasn't getting the ampage. So then I decided to try Mr. Car Charger here. So I, uh, I tried that. Still, can't push the amps. You, you just, you can't do it. I hooked my multimeter up to it while it was sucking amps and volts, and it said uh, 10 volts. So yeah, it's just killing it. And so what I've done now is I got a battery here, compliment to my buddy Kurt. Got the battery here, got her all hooked up. And actually, she's only been running about 10 minutes or so, not even. I've got a... Uh, yeah, let me just put this light on here. I got a little fast build up going. There you go. Now that looks sweet. Almost got ice going. That's awesome. So, this is the multimeter thing I got here. Let me just turn that off. Right there, it's not the best one, but I mean it works. So we can measure current, uh, usually doesn't measure too good for some reason with the Peltier. Do you know what? Try that. Nope. For some reason it doesn't like measuring just straight from the Peltier. But, uh... Voltage-wise... Just try and jam this in here. Jam one in here. Come on. Maybe not. Alright, we'll just jam it in there then. There we go. Put that one on there. Okay, so it's been running for about 15 minutes off the battery, it's actually starting to lose juice. So I think I'm going to toss this thing back on here. There we go. Okay, and now I got my little switch panel here. Um, that one right there is the one I'm going to use. That turns on this. Okay, and then to stop the charger from heating up, my buddy Kurt, or Crazy Like Albert, he gave me this cool little blower fan thing that ain't really loud. And now this thing, right here, if we set it to ohms, put it onto that cable, pull in, uh, or not ohms, current, sorry. Pull in almost 15 amps, so it's pulling pretty good. Yeah. So this thing is definitely a little frosty. Looks fucking awesome. I mean, frigging awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and temperature CPU is 30.4 because as you see I got the hot side in the water because the heat sink I have actually can't cool it so this is just a video of messing around with the Peltier here because yeah I do not have anything good enough to cool it um all my junk in here uh, Got one somewhere. Old AMD heat sink that I pulled apart. Old Timmy's cup. Wait, oh, there it is. It's all the way back in this hole. This is actually the crappy water cooling unit that I built when I was in a rush the other night. And it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty crappy, to be honest. But, you know, this, this is almost what I have on my CPU. The only difference is, is I took my time with the CPU one and made all the bends nice and this and that. So this one's sort of just a pile of junk. So I think possibly I might try and find a way of cooling that thing. Maybe with this liquid cooled or something to do see uh, what kind of cooling we can really get and we'll go from there anyways guys you guys have a good one